and welcome to another Teacher's Corner. I'm Teacher Kirby and today I'm coming at you from the Draenor Colony, uh, fleet, my fleet holding. And this is on my KDF fleet. And uh, so what we're going to talk about today is the colony invasion simulation. So I know many of you are wondering, well, how do I start the colony invasion simulation? Where there have to there has to be a few things in place in order for you or for anybody to start the colony invasion simulation. So first things first, you have to be allowed by your fleet to start the simulation. Now what do I mean by that? So every fleet has settings and different levels in the fleet have different things that they can do. Okay, and you see for example in my fleet there we go and as you see the more or the higher you go the more you're able to do with level 7 being able to do everything. So what you want or what you need in order to start a colony invasion simulation you need to have the create new fleet event with a check mark for your rank. If you do not have that then you are not going to be able to start a colony invasion simulation. Okay, now I said there had to be a few things. You also have to be overall on your colony invasion. Let's take a look. On your colony world, you have to have tier one overall. If your colony has not completed tier one, you will not be able to start. You will not have available the colony invasion simulation. Okay, so that is important. Okay, the other thing you have to have comes under provisions. And if I click on provisions, invasion tokens. So I need to have three invasion tokens. Okay, so let's go over those again. So I need to have the ability to create new fleet events given to me by my fleet leader. I need to have tier one overall in my colony world holding and I need to have at least three colony invasion defense simulation tokens. If those three things are not in place then you will not be able to start a colony invasion simulation. So let's say those three things are in place for you as they are for this character for me. Now the next thing you do is you have to talk to the security chief. Now you can go to you can be you can talk to the security chief while you are away from him. If you look down on the bottom right hand side, hail security officer is one of your options there. Now why is this important? Because you're going to want to be able to talk to him while you're in position at the at the shield generator. Now there are a number of shield generators. I'm not going to show you where each one is. You can explore and find them on your own. But this is an example of a shield generator right here. Okay? So this is shield generator 01. Okay? Now when you start an invasion simulation, 
all right, these shield generators come under attack. And then it is up to you to defend the shield generator. And there are many waves. Now you can talk to the security officer. I can clear you for transport. Or and if you're authorized, I can start an invasion simulation for you. Okay, and you see right here at the bottom, initiate invasion simulation. So I, I click that. Invasion. You can repair and, the shield generators, but only and the there we go. won't continue. You will now, be rewarded based on your progress. Only the best of the best can clear all 30 waves. Think you've got what it takes? Now, of course, there are 30 waves. You can vote every five waves whether to continue or not. Right now, my colony has Invasion Simulation A open to them. Now, if you look, the next one, two, three require tier two and then we have one two three that require tier three and so on and so forth so on and, and like that so as we go up more invasion simulations are available to us okay so if I were going to start it which I'm not I would click evasion, Invasion Simulation A. Word of warning, make sure you have at least 15 to 20 people if you're planning on doing this because it gets pretty hectic pretty quickly. Okay, so again, you need to make sure that you have the ability to create new fleet events checked off for your level for your rank in the fleet you need to make sure that you're holding that you are at least tier one in your overall holding and that you have three invasion defense simulation tokens. All three of those are in place, then you will not have a problem starting the colony invasion simulation. So this has been Teacher Kirby, and I hope you've learned something. If you like uh, Teacher's Corner videos, please remember to like and subscribe. Consider becoming a patron, and you can hear the discussion of Teacher's Corner live every Saturday night on the Pilot Review Show at 10 p.m. Eastern Time. I hope to see you there.